Hey, what's up, guys? Today we have this. It's a Samsung Chromebook. Okay, um, it's the Chromebook 3, 11.6 inches, 4 gigs of RAM, and 16 gigabytes of eMMC storage. Uh, it's got an Intel processor in there. When will they start using AMD? That, I don't know. I don't have my unboxing knife with me, so we're gonna improvise with a pen. Kinda looks like a pizza box, this. Comment down below your favorite um, pizza store. It is the size of a medium pizza. But anyway, here we have the Chromebook. If I can get this lid to stay open long enough. So here's the charger. Obviously, there's nothing special about it. It's just a charger. Here we have a quick start guide. And here is what we're here for, the laptop. Yeah, that's one of the foam protectors of it, another one. Haven't seen this kind of packaging in a long time. And just as it was listed on Amazon, say. Oh, look at that. Hang on. Wait, where do I peel now? Okay, here. Now here, why can't they just have it one piece? That looks good. One more thing here. Oh, that looks good. All right. So what else have we got in the box? Nothing. We have nothing in the box. Um, it should turn on right away. I usually ship with a little bit of battery in it. Oh, the trackpad feels not bad. Let me try the keyboard out. It's not bad, actually. I kind of like the feel of this keyboard. It's doable, yeah. Let's see. USB, no, that's 2.0. USB 3.0. Yeah, so we've got a 2.0 on this side and 3.0, I believe, on this side. I can see the extra pins. Here we have the charger port, micro SD port, HDMI. So now what else have we got? Let's open up that charger. You can see. Oh yeah, that's a pretty small charger. That's a very small pin. Actually smaller than a headphone jack. Um, let's unwrap the charger. However, we're supposed to do it. I think this way. And there it is. I'm going to plug it in and we will see if it boots up. Okay, and it just booted up if you saw that. just started. Let's see. Come on, you can do it. There you go. So, um, that sounds nice. Let's go. All right. And, um, yeah, you just got to connect to your Wi-Fi network and you can go from there. Um, actually, I'm going to set it up and I'll show you around it. Okay, guys. Um, so your Chromebook would come with, um, of course, Google Chrome, Gmail, Google Docs. Actually, Google Docs, Google Spreadsheets. What's it called? Um, Google, what's their spreadsheet thing? I forgot what it is. Google Slides, um, Gmail, YouTube, Google, the Play Store, 
So yeah, it's got a lot of things included. See, that is what it's included. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that, that come with this and it can do a lot of things basically on the web. So you can use Office Online, you can use Google, um, uh, Google's Productivity Suite. I don't know what it's called, the official name, but yeah, you can use that. You can go to your Gmail. This can do a lot of things. Um, the price is $130 for this. It's not ba that bad of a deal, considering. And the keyboard, um, I actually want to do a typing test. So you can he you can see, you can hear it actually. Um, we'll use this one. fine that's the typing test we'll use then we're gonna use it okay how long is this gonna take Oh, it's refusing to... Oh, there it, go. there it goes. All right. So yeah, that kind of shows. Um, this is a pretty good keyboard. Um, low key travel, that's what I have to say first about it. it. Has very low amounts of key travel. But not as low as the newer MacBooks, which have basically no key travel. Maybe just a small click and then no key travel. There you go. Um, this one has, you know, kind of like Ultrabook style key travel. Um, the trackpad is good. I like it. It's clicky, very responsive. And yeah, an overall decent laptop. Out of 10, I'd give it maybe six or six and a half based on its price point. And for value, I'll give it, for now, I will say, like for now, seven out of 10. It's, most other laptops are like at least $150. And this, I got it for 120. And I have to say it's a decent little thing. So that's kind of it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, oh, wait, hang on, I have that new outro. Well, you'll see it in a second. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. If you want to see more awesome videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and the bell besides it. And as always, I'll see you next time.